Hello, and welcome back boat lovers to another episode of Building Dragonfly. If you're new to the channel, I'm building a 53 foot flat bottom wooden river boat, single handed. As you can see, I'm well into the project. So this week, Millie the Wonder Dog and myself have been very busy. We have been continuing with the bow thruster, which is nearly finished, thank goodness. We put in another bulkhead, we've leveled up the hull and then all sorts of bits and pieces with all the usual fun of sanding, gluing, fiberglassing, and lots of mayhem and fun along the way. So stick around and let's see what we've been doing this week in the boat shed. Well, good morning again. I got a little bit carried away last night and instead of just putting one panel on the boat, I kept going for a few hours and I put on the second panel. So I feel like I'm making a lot of progress. I'll show you where I got up to. Turn the camera around and we'll have a look. There we go. Very pleased with that. It's hard to get that far enough to get a good look, but there's the first panel there and the second one next to it all glued and screwed into place when I was doing the second panel here I forgot I hadn't glued the back block into place so I glued all that in at the same time I'll walk around the other side and show you what the other side looks like that's the inside I've still got some filleting to do along the stringers So that's my glue fillets and then I'll go over that again, sand all of those and go over the top of those with some filler compound to make nice neat fillets for painting. I also did some more in the bow thruster. And look down in there, I added this rubbing strip here, all the other ones are complete. I added some fillets in the corners. So that just needs to be sanded and that is that housing is complete finally So today I'm just going to continue putting side panels on until I get up to what will be the front of the wheelhouse here and Then I'm going to try and complete as much of that front section as I can Before I continue moving back along the boat now I have the GoPro on top of my stack of plywood so I can get a bit of a bird's eye view for you of putting these side panels on. And it is blowing a gale today. So the shed is rattly and it's raining outside in the middle of summer. But uh, it's kind of cozy in here. I'm enjoying it.
I've just finished putting on some backing blocks and once that glue dries I can put on the next two panels. I'll give you a look at what I've done this morning. I'm coming along from the front of the boat. There's my backing blocks in place. There's that one. And there's that one. So they're notched in through the strings all the way down, but they're not notched into the bottom piece because that gets glued into place as we go with the panels. Lots of progress today. Really can't do much until that glue dries. It's also raining and gloomy. It's about one o'clock in the afternoon. So I think I'm gonna finish for the day, go and do some editing, have some lunch, and put these panels on tomorrow. See you then. The back blocks are in place, the glue's all dry, and I am ready to put some more panels on. I'll show you the back blocks, and then I'll start putting some panels on. There we go, all ready for some panels. So very excited to get that happening this morning. Right, let's get these clamps off and get some panels in place. Overlapping a little bit, ready for more stringers. Well, I guess I'll just work that out when I get there. I'll have another look at the model and try and make a decision on exactly what I'm going to do. Because I'm sort of building the front third or first half of the boat in its entirety first, I get to that point and there's nothing really to join onto. So I guess I'll work it out when I get there. I've had some emails and comments for, from, from our good friends over in Florida asking uh, who designed the boat and uh, where do I get the plans? Well, <laughs> the simple answer to that is I designed the boat. It's completely my design and there are no plans apart from what's in my head. I built the scale model. As I built that, I kept in mind the actual construction of the boat, so I used the model as my plan. I've built boats before, and so I'm familiar with spacing of stringers and structural points, etc. So really, yeah, the design somewhere in here, and the plans as well. Right. It's all a bit of trial and error and no mathematical calculations, just all educated guesswork uh, going by similar boats that I've built and used in the past. So we won't really know how it performs, uh, how it functions until it's in the water. So I guess time will tell. Any, any burrs or excess glue that's sticking out and make sure I've got a good surface for adhesion and then get these panels in place.
I'm really pleased with that. I've got a whole bunch of panels on and I'm about to take a break. But first, I'll show you what I've done. Starting to look like a boat. Woohoo. Well, I am super pleased with that. So I think it's time for a break and some lunch. Righty oh folks, I have to do some serious shed tidying up. I've got tools and mess everywhere, so bear with me. Not terribly exciting, but something that needs to be done. I'm sure I'll be very pleased that it's done once I come back in tomorrow or late this afternoon to do some more work in a tidy shed. Okay, one of the jobs today is reinforcing the corners of the bow thruster housing. Then I'm going to glue the skid plate on the bottom of the flange that goes on the bottom of the bow thruster itself. Because the bow thruster, as I've tried to point out, is a bit like a, a vertical drawer that pushes down through the bottom of the boat and then is pulled back up into place. And it has a flange on the bottom that locks into place when it's pulled up and I need to put a skid plate on the bottom of that so as it matches the profile of the rest of the skid plate or a very fine keel, if you like, running along the bottom of the boat. But here is the reinforcing to the corners that I've done of the bow thruster housing. We've just done that this morning, trimmed everything up. So that's got a good fiberglass reinforcing down there. And then in this corner, I've put a decent fillet in there on both sides and I'm about to glass that. Then continuing with the never-ending bow thruster, here is the skid plate that I'm talking about. So this is the flange that goes on the bottom of this. So it goes on the bottom and overlaps about an inch all the way around. And this is a hardwood skid plate that goes on the bottom of that. And then I'll have a piece of stainless, 316 stainless that runs along here. That will be six mil by 100 mil plate, which runs along the skid plates on the bottom of the boat. Okay, let's get this stuck onto this. Already mixed up my glue in the wonderful sandwich bag. I think it'll be enough. Times you just don't know till you do it. Scraper that I 
bought yesterday. Oh, that's fantastic, look at that. Does a great job. I'm gonna stay set this brick on here to push it down but I think I'll clamp it to make sure I get a really good deal. See that squishing out. That's what you want when you epoxy. You want the glue to ooze out, show that you've got a good coverage and then you fill it with the corners to finish everything off. Pretty much 101 of epoxy work. You have a good ooze factor is exactly what you want. Makes it messy, and sometimes you have a bit of excess glue to get rid of. It's more important to have a good ink seal all over than it is to saving on the glue. See that fillet runs along there. We'll do the same to the other side, and then clean things up. So there is the base plate. Once that's dry, put my stainless steel plate on here and we can get it all glued onto the bottom of the bow thruster and painted. And that is progress. Yay!